how do you know what success feels like to you projectors? So even me just asking you that question, like, how do you know what success feels like to you can take you, you know, maybe days of writing, like, right, be curious, start to collect the data about what success feels like to you. Also in your chart, there may be some interesting placements of these planets that really speak of success. Now, if you know about the gene keys, your pearl sequence, and if you also know about the gene keys, your uh, even your Venus sequence, like I just, I've been studying this for quite a while now. I'm more than halfway through my deconditioning process and my life does not look like it did when I first started studying human design. And, you know, I have a dozens and dozens of different modalities that come out during my client sessions. And what I really love about what I'm doing right now with my limitless process is that the information that comes through limitless is information that people can take into every single area of their life. So I call them the four pillars. So there's health, wealth, happiness, and love. And so if you're feeling like you are a well-rounded human being, health, wealth, happiness, and love are the places where most people are looking for support. So just for example, you know, your intimates, your love relationships, if they are off kilter, if you don't feel like you're well supported, if you don't feel like you're recognized as, you know, whatever it is you'd like to be recognized as, and you go running after those family members, trying to get them to recognize you or, you know, being super bitter that you're not being recognized in the way that you would like to be recognized. You know, you can't hide that stuff. It's like a big freaking sign over top of your head that says, you know, love me, recognize me, you know, like just whatever it is that you're feeling unsuccessful at, let's pretend the biggest thing is your relationships. Then what I would recommend for you projectors is to take a freaking break. You know, and this is something that I do recognize recommend to my clients. I'm like, okay, you know, where are the most unsuccessful parts of your life? And in many cases, it is those primary love relationships with your kids, with your spouse, with your friends, uh, you know, and then of course that jumps out into your, your next circle out, which is your client relationships. And so what can happen is if you're dying to be recognized as a good mom, you're dying to be recognized as a good sister or, or whatever it is, then it's almost guaranteed that you will never get that recognition because you're coming at it from just a completely incorrect place. And those may never be the people who are here to recognize you. 